it's not. I know what I did wrong there. That was just a matter of reading my notes wrong. I didn't reset my notes after the last run. I had them scrolled back to two because, oh, the next stage is going to be two and I don't need them for one. When I got into two, I scrolled them to three and tried to play three. I do eventually kind of want to get less dependent on the notes, but not really. I'm fine having a cheat sheet. So yeah, basically we just want to be really careful to minimize inadvertent diagonal inputs. It's kind of hard because we like to roll our thumb around the D-pad for continuity of motion. Because you can buffer all your inputs and they're only evaluated every time you reach a grid space. Bugs, move. Bugs' movement is constrained to the grid. Although the hitboxes aren't, like... You actually do move through partial tiles. That was apparently kind of slow. Really good that we can just go through doors, that helps a lot. Right. Down, okay. So we haven't really gotten a run going today yet. By this time yesterday, we were already on the PB run. It doesn't always happen that way left during the fall, turn him around, punch. Up. Gotta buffer right when you head back up as well because you need to keep him moving the way you want him to move. Might have been a smidge early. <laughs> Not a problem here, he will just run away. Let Sam bounce off the wall and then go up, hold left so that he bounces back towards the wall. That lets us buy. All the enemies read your inputs except for Green Sylvester. This level doesn't have too much going on. Just go up. Clean out this side and then go back and clean out the other side. We do punch Daffy. And nobody over here is in a position to cause any sort of annoyance, so... Clunk. This level, we don't want to buffer, but we want to move pretty much as soon as the level starts. And we need to make sure that guy goes to the right. By not buffering, you can do that. We must have had that pretty close to the danger zone there, because that looked sketchy. That's probably pretty close to as well as we could have done that. Yeah, this game has great music. They're kind of short, and you, there's only really three songs in the game. One second. There's only really three songs in the game, plus the credits music and the title screen music. And title screen music's not good. The credits music is okay. Oh, and there's the in-between level music. So that's six songs. Four of them are pretty good. But you hear them a lot, so it's good that they are pleasant. Hey, audio. Welcome in. 
haven't missed much yet today. We've just we've been struggling to get out of the early game, but the night is young. Left. Wait. Up. Kick. Potion and clunk. The good news is I rerouted level 52, and I'm hoping that I could do, be more consistent on it. I'll lose some time over best possible, but I'll trade that for consistency at this point. Punch. Oh, he's down on the bottom, so what we need to do is hold left here. Turn him around. That ensures that he will hit the bottom while we're going for this last carrot. Sometimes he takes the high road and we can bank shot him, but he's in a different position there. Alright, I had a mental block on this level yesterday. It's not hard, I just need to actually remember hold left in this door to get Gray Sylvester out of the way. Once we do that, it's really easy. You don't you want to, again, not mess up your input here and fall off, but it's not a huge error if you do. Probably lose a second. Not bad. Alright, trust fall, and then we enter the, the first gauntlet. There's a gauntlet at 13, and there's a gauntlet at about 50. Looks scary, works every time. No RNG. Each level stands on its own. The enemies just care about where you are and what your inputs are at various intervals where the game checks up. All right. Happy delay. Right. Stop. think we're good. We'll see when we get to the other side. One, two, and three on the top. Yep, we're good. Once we go down here, they can literally never get us because none of those guys can go down doors. If we do as well, if we keep pace with the PB from here, that one mistake is the difference, that one mistake in the PB is the difference between world record and not. Sam to drop off the edge, and he did. That of course means I have to make no new mistakes between here and the next uh, 47 levels, so it's it ain't free. There's a lot of game left. I've been working to try to reduce the variance, even at the ex I will trade a few seconds here and there for consistency, if I need to, for sure. Alright, stage 15. This is the quick punch. I've been really good at this lately, but... Got it. A diagonal there, and it's not a lot of recovery. You take the death, you lose about 9 to 10 seconds. Because you need to get out of there before Green Sylvester causes problems. Sam will not cause problems down here. We'll punch green. Boom. And now uh, we no longer have to worry about any bad guys. They just don't matter. He can't leave that corner. He's trapped. He cannot never climb. He can't ride pipes. He's completely incapable. Okay, one tiny trick in this level, which is hold left here. That's all we need to do. It makes that Gray Sylvester go further up those stairs. So when we loop around here, we get past him. Now one of two things can happen here, and we're gonna get the more common one. Gray Sylvester will be over here, we'll punch him. He's no longer any concern, and this guy's gonna get trapped on the top, and he can't.
can't really get past that staircase anyway. He must go up it. So he can't ever get over where we are down here. He's just not he's physically incapable of it. Alright, this stage sucks. A little bit too early. I think I did a little delay there. I'm hoping it works out. Nope. Alright, we're gonna have to play backup strats. Fortunately, I can play some backup strats. Where in the world is he? Alright, I'm gonna try to get him to commit somewhere, lose some time here. No! Nope. Again, did about as well as PB. We didn't die. This stage also sucks. But I've been doing better at it lately. Okay, we needed to get Sam to turn there, which requires very good timing, both kicking that bucket, getting in the door, and pushing right. We got it, so everything should be good from here. The next two levels are a little obnoxious, but not on the scale of the previous ones. This level I mostly need to remember not to do the wrong thing. Neutral. Neutral. Neutral until we disappear in the bottom right corner and then we hold right. This sets up all the random guys to be traveling in the pipes rather than traveling in your way at the end of the stage. Punchy punchy. Should see some lumps coming through the tube and probably a third and that means you know, they're all out of the way. Alright. Shouldn't have any real trouble till 26 now. It depends, um, like, if I don't have to buffer in the pipe, then it is a good chance to get some much-needed thumb break. This one, less so, because I do have to buffer in the pipes. If they're long enough, though, yeah, they can definitely give you a rest. You really don't need to use the right hand unless you need to do a punch, so it's mostly, mostly one-handed game. So I can go get a beverage whenever I don't need to concentrate, basically. I buffer right on every door. As long as we don't screw it up. This one has a Gray Sylvester. Gray Sylvesters must go up and they cannot go down. If they end up in one of those concrete rooms at the top, they can never leave, and if there's a carrot in there, it's really hard to get in there. I think this game is late enough that it would not have been designed for an Atari, but it might have been like on some PCs. I'd have to look and see exactly what platforms it was on. I know it was on Game Boy. I don't know if it was on anything else. I don't know if it... The graphics are certainly well past the point of what the Atari can handle. So is almost certainly the, the AI. The AI is not good, don't get me wrong, but the Atari, the Atari 2600 could do so little. There's basically nothing on the Atari 2600 that holds up as a game. Hey Ginger, welcome in. Thanks for the good luck. We have a start. Too early to get serious about it, but we have a start. And we have a new plan for the Doors of Death room, so we got that going for us. Alright, 
Spots are left everywhere. Leave that carrot for next time. Left as we fall. He'll chase us down this door. He'll go back up this door. Down here. Now hopefully Daffy isn't going to cause a problem here. This'll do. Boom. Save a little bit of time on PV there. Not a lot, but a little. This stage is pretty easy. And the next stage is not hard, but it's harder than this one. And then 26 is the Daffy Shuffle. ish level and then we try to nail the shuffle. Wait. We have to wait there just long enough for Sam to get out of the way. He loves causing trouble. starting during this fall to make sure he doesn't fall on our head on the right side here. He's trapped in a pipe loop, but he can still fall on our head if we're not paying attention. Alright, Daffy Shuffle, let's go. Down. Wait. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, four, one, go. Looks good. We got it. We in there. Alright, level 27, another level that... This level's easy, but if you make a wrong input, it becomes really hard to recover. For Sam. One, two, three, four, go. We'll turn Sam around right here just to get him out of the way. Alright, level 28. An old PB out of death here. So I want to be careful. We do have a little bit of time to save, but it just kind of depends how. I don't know the exact manips to get the fast route here, and I should probably figure them out. Up, go to the edge, take two steps back. Alright, red's down there. So we can take the fast route, because we won't have to punch red, which means we can punch green. It might be legit gold. Don't get too cute on this one. We did take a death here the other day, getting too cute here. This is one where I probably need to figure out a slightly better routing, but... Yep, there he is, exactly what I expected. I should be able to work with this. As long as we hold left going up this door, we should be okay. There we go. Alright, right in every pipe. At least. These first so many. We need to shove Wily into the corner. After that, it doesn't really matter. There we go. Alright, 32 and 34 are the next trouble levels. 
right up this pipe. Left up this pipe, which will get him into the corner and we'll get past. Left up this pipe. So let's just sneak right by Wily here. And then we should be set up to see him punch him. And now inputs don't really matter. We don't have any other threats. On a time scale that matters at least. All right, this level has semi-complicated inputs. All right, right, then left. Okay, got that. You have to change inputs halfway through the door to manipulate Sam. And we kick and we wait. As soon as he turns around, we can drop the save. And punch here. Sam was threatening to be obnoxious, but we're fine. Can't move fast enough. Alright, we're gonna take what looks like a bad step here. It's intentional. I'll let you know if I say that and I take a bad step that is not intentional. Oh, that was the wrong that was the wrong step. No, that was that was what we wanted, but I'll let you know if I make a liar out of myself. Holding right here. Kick. Alright, the climb. Up, and up, and up, and again, up. Got that Sam, left, right. Got it. That's scary, that's not as bad as it looks, it still feels a little scary. Next couple requires some caution. Left. Right. 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 Left. Okay, they are where I need them to be, so if we hold left. Alright, they are not where I need them to be, so I'm going to wait for Gray. I'm going to lose a little time. I don't know what happened. Not a, not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Alright. Right. Right. Left. Left. Right. Right, please fall, thank you. Left. Left. Now, Daffy should be to our right. And we're good. Still in there. Left. Just always push for the next direction you need to go in this one and things should work out okay. Up. Alright, so this one... We can go earlier than I think, but I'm trying to play it a little bit safer here. We don't have to wait that long, but it makes it does control Sam better. Let's just get him, keep him from causing trouble over here, and we'll spend 
a second here to improve our odds going forward. This part's a little bit tedious. Right, left on the first door is the only thing we really need to care about. Everything else is pretty straightforward, except that we need to wait a little bit right here. I saved some time by not waiting as long as I had in the past. Might have had a late clunk on the other stage as well. So we go here and we again we wait for him to turn around. Don't try to don't try to speculate, actually watch him turn around. Some of those clunks were off. I don't know which ones though. Left, shut them in the corner. Left. Right. Punch. Left. Left. This should cause him to fall off to the left here, which means he really can't get back into this corner without taking the long way. Because again, they have to go up every pipe that they can. Green doesn't have to, but green also doesn't isn't exactly smart about figuring out where to go. And a good run so far. Still plenty of time to blow it, but it's a good run so far. Kick, 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 kick. Death. Neutral. Got it. Should be okay. Alright, this stage is usually pretty easy, but I do... I've had missteps. I have a misstep in it in the PB, so let's see if we can claim that time back. Punch. This stage has time to rest in the pipes. Because there's only one guy who reads inputs, green does not read inputs. So once you take care of the other guy, you kind of don't have to worry about buffers anymore at all. Nick, that's a second glove, you can just clear the level out. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. left until we hit the bottom here and hold right we're gonna hold right in this door the bucket pass him on the stairs and we're home free all right this stage can go wrong let's open the next one
fine now. He should turn around and we should get the fast path here. There we go. Save some time. Right. Right. Left up this pipe. Right back down. Left up this one. Thought I took an extra step, but I don't think we did. And if we did, you know, it'll be fine. If we lose an extra step toward the time. We did take an extra step, but it's all right. Doesn't really matter at all. Neutral. Turn around, please. Thank you. Right. Left. He will not mess with us here, as bad as it looks. He will not do it. This side. I almost forgot about that one. Thought I saw it. Buffer. I was buffering to go the other way. Alright, neutral. Left, 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 left. First ones are in particular important because we need to bucket this guy. Because we need the glove for later. If he, even if he comes for us, like we have the glove and lets us get out of there. Alright, this next stage, I can no longer say that. Oh, it looks hard, but it's free. I did, I did botch it the other day. All right. Turn on Sam, thank you. Got it this time though. So I'm probably, I'm upwards of 90% on that, but not 100. Okay. Now this, this is a break. Now I just need to hold up all this way until I put my feet on this, these stairs and then he'll just fall all the way down without having to do anything. All right, gauntlet number two. Got it. Nope, come on guys. Right, guys, nobody wants to over here. Please just leave. That was a little bit early, we're gonna skip that split. Left in all five doors. Buffers right, grab the glove, buffer left, up to door seven, take one step to the left. Alright, we're trying a different route on this this time. Oh god, the nerfs. Okay, we didn't quite get it, but we're okay. We're gonna lose a little time over what I wanted, but we absolutely in there. Okay. He took an extra step, but we're good. We're through that, we're through that level. 
left in every door in the tower. Alright, we waited because Sam was problem there. Alright. Okay, none of them fell down. We're gonna lose another couple of frames on this one. But way better than last time. Alright, we're gonna play safety strats on this one. Left. Right. Right. Left. Left. Right. Okay, we're gonna play safety strats. I'm gonna grab the glove. Lost a second, we don't care, we will take that every time. Right, right in every pipe. Okay, good, we did not leave the carrot behind. Should see red turn around, all right. Looks scary, but it's not. So far, so good. Kicky, kicky, kicky. Clunk. Alright, 58 still scares me. Not so worried about the next two. Right, grab the glove. Right, go up. Punch. Right. Left until we hit the corner. Left. Right. Alright, that's good. Left. Extra step, but we'll lose some time, but again. Not a problem. They can't get me anymore. They're completely trapped out of the way. wasn't exactly what I wanted, we'll lose another tiny amount of time, but again, of all the problems to have, these are these are not the ones I'm worried about. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. We're gonna lose the sub 41, that's okay though. That wasn't it wasn't right. Pattern was off. Supposed to go up there. Alright, we're back on pattern. We'll lose the sub 41. I, that's a little disappointing. I thought we had it. Left, left, right, right. This level's not hard, but there's a lot to do. It's long. Right. Right up this tube. 
Hold right till we hit the corner. Left. Hold left till we hit the ground. Turn around, please. scared me a little bit. WORLD RECORD! That's the- that's the most pop-off you're ever gonna get out of me.